Hey there, my name is Chase Murphy. I'm a senior ConnectWise consultant here at Proval Tech. And today I want to talk to you a little bit how to use friendly names in Automate. Let's get into it. Uh, we receive a lot of requests from our partners to rename devices or just make it easier to find machines or who uses them and things along those lines. Um, shout out to one of our, our partners that uses the friendly name on literally every device in their environment so they know whose PC it is. You know, it could be Chase's PC, it could be Chris's PC, it could be Alex's PC, uh, but you can rename those friendly names and automate to make it much easier to understand what you're looking for. Uh, so getting into it, what you need to do is launch into the computer management window, uh, which I've already pulled up in the background here to make life a little bit faster. Um, and then you navigate to the automation tile and go to extra data fields, where I am now. And then this field will always be on the default extra data field column. Um, and it will be called friendly name. Uh, so what a lot of our partners do is they'll do something like name the machine, the same thing it's already called, so you know what the actual machine is. And then you could say this is the Linux test box. Oops, excuse me, test box, for example. And then as soon as you save that information, back in your automate screen, when you refresh the table, you'll be able to see that that box has been renamed inside of automate to make it much more functional to see who uses it or what it's for or really what its overall purpose is. Um, I did a video last week about data views and you can usually display the friendly name in a data view very easily. So uh, putting through that extra effort might benefit you. Um, as far as putting it back the way it was, you can simply remove the friendly name, save it, head back to the other screen and refresh it and it'll be back to normal. So you can do that for any device in the environment for whatever it makes sense. We just thought that would be a useful tip to make things more understandable for your techs on the ground. So thanks for watching. Uh, we try to post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. Uh, to learn more about what we do, please visit provaltech.com. There should be a link right here in the video or in the description below. Thank you.